Hello everyone, this is Colleen Lemma, Angelic Astrologer and Spiritual Consultant on AngelMessenger.net, here to do your monthly Angel Card reading for December 2013. We're going to be using some different decks today. Um, we're going to be using the Angel Tarot deck by Doreen Virtue, and we're going to pull one bonus card from the Angels of Atlantis Oracle Cards deck by Stuart Pierce. And then for your special message card for the day, we're actually going to use two different decks for that. I was guided by my angels, since this is a monthly reading, to give you two separate messages. We're going to use Doreen Virtue's Archangel Michael Oracle cards, and we're also going to use the Mermaids and Dolphins, also by Doreen Virtue. So let's show you what the stones are for this month that you can choose from. You can choose from this ametrine sphere. It looks like an amethyst, but it actually has some citrine running through it. So it's purple and yellow gold colored. The second stone of choice this month is going to be this chrysocolla egg. Okay, chrysocolla is a beautiful stone. Looks like turquoise, but it's not quite turquoise. And then the third stone of choice is going to be a smoky quartz sphere. So it's like a crystal ball, but it's smoky quartz. So again, you have the ametrine sphere, the chrysocolla egg, or the smoky quartz sphere. Now, this month of December, it's the last month of the year 2013. It's hard to believe that it's gone by already so quickly. Um, we have a couple of planets changing signs this month, which is going to make it feel a little bit lighter, I believe, in energy. Uh, we also have Venus, the planet of love and relationships, as well as money and finances, going retrograde this month. And it will be retrograde for a little while. If you want to know more about the astrological happenings, please go on to angelmessenger.net and read the angelic astrology article that I do for December. That will be posted very soon. Now I've called in all of our angels and guides and we're going to choose three cards for the week here. Okay. And then the third card I think is this one here. Now before we turn those cards over, let's go ahead and pick our bonus card from the Angels of Atlantis Jack. All right, this is going to be the bonus card. And let's see what the angels have to tell us for this month of December. Our first card for the month is the Queen of Water card. And it says tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, and loving. And it also says relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition and care for yourself and others. Now, the feeling I get from this card is that we're definitely tapping into that divine feminine energy. That's been the goal all along as far as the planetary evolution is to bring things back into balance from the old patriarchal system and the over-dominance of the masculine energy. And it's not that the masculine energy is negative, but we need to bring the feminine back into balance. And so the card starting out here for this month of December is really bringing in that feminine energy on a worldly level as well as on the individual level. So it's asking you to tap into that nurturing, loving, um, compassionate, caring, that unconditional love uh, aspect in all ways for this month. And let's see what the second card is to get further information. We have the Two of Earth here. And the Two of Earth says... Too much going on at once, the need to make a decision, and consider a more playful approach. Now, the Earth cards are about, sometimes about money and finances. It's always about earthly matters. And with that too there, um, we might actually see some sort of a, a juggling of finances. There, that's what I feel is that there might be some juggling of finances, which makes sense. December is our month of Christmas, and so we're always kind of juggling our finances here. But I, I think I'm drawn back to that Queen of Water card that we pulled first. And Spirit and the Angels are really saying right now that this holiday season that's coming up for us in this month of, of December, you know, we get together with family and friends, 
and to remember what it's really all about. Remember that it really is all about unconditional love and sharing and caring and and showing each other how much we appreciate them in our lives. It's more about that than it is about the gifts and the money. And I feel like that that is the message that's coming through here is, is let's not focus so much on the financial part of it. Let's focus on the love part of it this month. Okay, and let's see what our last card is. We have the Three of Fire, and the Three of Fire says abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time and make long-term plans. Okay, so now I'm also picking up that along with the previous message that is going on that I, I feel like too that that two of earth that we just uh, talked about that if those of you that are out there are working on projects, business projects, career projects, your life path, your destiny path, I really feel like this is telling you that things are going to grow and expand. The energy surrounding those things are growing and expanding. Abundance is coming in, but I don't feel like it's just abundance on a financial level, although that could certainly be part of it. But we're also talking about abundance as far as things being um, created and again expanded that that opportunities will come in that that further assistance from other people or from your angels and guides is going to come in this month so that if you you know put all of this together that again tapping into your divine feminine essence and um, allowing your creative self-expression to come into play is going to really assist you when it comes to all business, career, project aspects. But again, not to forget that aspect of Christmas and that we need to focus on that uh, unconditional love. And with the Three of Fire here in relationship to um, Christmas, I feel like it's going to be a really kind of happy, joyful, abundant time with gatherings that are very um, pleasant and very uplifting. Let's see what our special message card is for the month of December. We have Archangel Shamael, and it says Serenity. And it's, it's got a lot of beautiful amethyst colored or purple colored um, energy here. So I really feel like, again, tapping into that higher essence of who you are, tapping into your higher soul self, which is where that unconditional love is. It's not only going to help to, you to exude those energies that are going to allow everything else in your life to grow and expand. But I also feel here this higher consciousness energy with, with that amethyst purple color here. That higher consciousness energy is going to bring you this, this peace and serenity, not just because it's the holidays, but because it's that time in the evolution of our planet. It's, it's you know, we're really moving forward. And, and we got some things, you know, that will continue to shift over the next couple of years, but we're really coming into our higher essence uh, a lot more. We're being able to connect with that a lot better. Let's see what your special message card is. If you've chosen the Ametrine Ball, your special message is soulmate relationship. Isn't that wonderful? So they want you to either focus on your soulmate relationship if you're already in a relationship, or you might actually have a new relationship coming in that has soulmate-like qualities. And whether this is of a romantic level or even just a friendship level, that this relationship is going to be very important to you in your life. And it's going to be something that is going to assist you as you move forward um, with your evolution and growth. The message at the bottom actually says, new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. So that's a wonderful message I'm sure a lot of you like to hear. Let's see if you chose Chrysocola as your stone of choice. Your message is Mother Healing. And again, this could actually be about healing aspects with your mother. And actually the message at the bottom says, as your feelings towards your mother heals, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. So... I also feel, though, that this is healing that feminine energy within yourself as well as with your mother. So tapping into your unconditionally loving energy, mothering and nurturing and caring for yourself is 
actually going to help you to move forward and heal um, on your journey. And then if you chose the Smoky Quartz, this says to simplify your life. And again, I go back to, you know, what, what these holidays are really all about. It's really about taking care of, um, how do I want to say it? It's about paying attention to those, I don't want to call them little things in life because they're important things in life, but to remember what really is important, you know, simplify that it's not about crazy, anxious energy. It's not about buying the most gifts or the best gifts. It's It's not about you know, shopping. It's about getting together with family and friends. It's about love. It's about being grateful and thankful. It's about sharing. And the message at the bottom of this card says to eliminate clutter from your home and work life, to balance the flow of activities. So also, you know, I feel like, again, if you're working on projects or career matters, that not making it complicated is going to be beneficial. But also remember um, that cleaning out physically your office or cleaning out your home life, uh, your house, um, your surroundings. As you simplify your surroundings, you help to bring more of a ease and simplicity to your um, moving forward with your divine path, with moving forward with career projects. You help things to be a lot more clear as far as the guidance that you're getting. So that's going to be important for you for this month as well. And I'm just needing to peek here to see where we're at with time. Okay. I think we're okay to go ahead and do the Archangel Michael message card. So if you chose the Amatrine, your message from Archangel Michael says to detach from the situation. So there's going to be some sort of situation this month of December that you might feel emotionally, um, what do I want to say, ill at ease about. And they're asking you to detach from it. That, you know, paying attention to any negative mindset or any negative emotional energy is not going to be in your best interest. So whatever situation comes up for you this month of uh, December, to just allow yourself to step outside of your ego, step outside of your personality, and see things maybe from an objective viewpoint or see things from the other person's viewpoint. Um, and whether this is with a person or an organization or, you know, even about your career. But to just detach from any negative energies because it's in your best and highest interest to do so. And then if you chose the Chrysocola egg, I feel like this one is the card for you. This situation is already resolved. That's interesting. It almost feels like it goes with the other Archangel Michael card, but this is for those of you that chose the Chrysocola. So you are going to have a situation this month of December to where you're wondering how it's going to turn out or you're anxious about how it's going to turn out or you're worried about something. And Archangel Michael is telling you, don't worry about it. Let it go because the situation is already resolved in a, in a proper way, in a positive way for you that it's going to turn out the way it needs to turn out uh, to be in your best and highest interest. Okay. And then if you chose the... Um, smoky Quartz Sphere. Your message from Archangel Michael says energy healing work. So here, you know, take some time out for yourself again this month of December. I know it's very hectic and there's lots of family things going on. There's a lot of things to, ha to be taken care of, but, you know, allow yourself, if you're an energy healer yourself, to do some energy work on yourself. Or if you need to bring some peace and balance into your physical, emotional, and mental bodies, go find an energy healer and do some, have some energy work done on yourself. That, this is going to be very beneficial. And this can even go a step above, too. I mean, if you're dealing with um, emotional patterns or, or mental thought patterns that need to be released, that Archangel Michael is telling you that it's going to be best resolved by going and getting some energy work done. So this is your monthly reading for December 2013. I hope you've enjoyed it. I want to um, tell you how grateful and thankful I am for all of your positive comments and support. I really appreciate it. Um, I love everybody. I send you all love and light. 
and I send you many, many angel blessings on your path.